Hello, we're here in the um, molecular and biochemistry core, and here we have a couple new pieces of equipment that you may not be aware of, which is we have a mini amp thermocycler and a Proflex um, thermocycler PCR system. Um, these are both great new pieces of equipment um, from Applied Biosystems by Thermo Fisher um, that we have available in the core to use. Both of the power switches are in the back right and um, what you can see in here is that this has three separate sample blocks, total of 96 wells. Um, what's interesting about all, both of these machines is that if you wanted to, each time you see a block that's sort of separated, it can be run at a different temperature. Um, so we can talk about how to do that if you're interested in terms of doing a gradient experiment or some experiment where not all the samples are getting the same protocol. So. We go in, we hit start up run, and then if you have a method, you can click it, or there's also this incubate option. Um, you can set the temperature of the stage if you just wanted to incubate your samples at a given temperature. Otherwise, we're gonna hit open template, and here they have blank templates, but also in these folders, if you use Amplitac, Amplitac 360, DreamTac, or any of these hot, hot start options, Amplitac Gold, or even if you're doing a different sequencing reaction um, or an RT-PCR reaction, there's some protocols already sort of programmed in. So let's say we're using Amplitac. Um, you can see that they already have some of the steps programmed in. And if you picked one of the blank templates, it would look kind of like this, just with none of the values typed in. Um, let's say we needed to edit this. Um, you can just click on a stage or a step and click on each individual value and edit the temperature and time. You can also, in each stage, you can hit how many times you want it to cycle. Um, so you basically have um, stages composed of steps. Each step runs and then the whole stage is run by, by the number of times that the number below says. You can also set your um, reaction volume in the upper right hand corner. And there's some advanced options here. So if we hit actions, we can add steps. You can see it allows us, if you just hit the plus on either side of a given step, it will add another step that you can set the temperature and time of. Or if we go back to actions, we can even add stages, which will be, this is just over those big gradations. So let's say this repeats once, this repeats 35 times. Let's say we wanted to add another stage that has a different number of repetitions and a different set of steps. We could hit that plus and then add the steps that are necessary to make our protocol. Um, let's just leave it at that for now. Um, once you have this set up, uh, you can see that at the end it will hold at four degrees. You can hit next. It allows you to name the ID and then um, the ID of the experiment. Um, so you should probably put in your, your name or your PI's name and make sure you keep the date and time of the experiment. Um, and then you can start your run. Um, I wanted to show one more thing, which is a little bit more complicated. Um, not everyone will need to use this, but if you wanted to use those blocks independently, um, you can hit Veriflex. Um, and let's say we wanted to do it on this step. Um, you can pick, um, this protocol has this step being 95 across the entire plate. But let's say we were doing a gradient. We could select one of these blocks and change the temperature and perhaps set the zone two to a different temperature. So we have three separate temperatures and then hit done. And then it will show a little indicator to show that that stage and that, or sorry, that step um, is using the Veriflex different temperatures or um, different temperatures on the each independent block. Um, and that will happen every time um, the stage repeats and that steps gets run. And you can obviously add that to any of the steps or all of the steps that you want that to happen over if you have different gradient requirements. There's also um, under actions, this auto delta option, which you can apply to a step. And this will make it um, the temperature change over the course of the PCR reaction over the, you can change the temperature or the time of the stage can change as each cycle goes on. So every time this stage repeats, you can have an individual step change by an automated amount 
um, either in the time or temperature. So it could get hotter as the stage repeats over and over or colder if you were doing some sort of touchdown or protocol where you wanted it to not be a constant temperature each time that stage gets run or you want the time to be different. So let's cancel out of this for now. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna turn this off um, and take you over to the ProFlex. Um, what you'll see is that this is very similar. Basically, it has three of these setup run buttons. So what's cool about this machine is that each of these blocks um, not only can run at a separate temperature, but can be ran, run it completely independently. So um, the mini amp over here, you can change the temperatures um, of the stages, but it's all just one experiment. Here, let's say you only had a couple samples and uh, you don't want to take up either the entire mini amp or the whole ProFlex, you could just put a couple tubes in one side and then set up the run just for um, this specific uh, block that's right here. So again, we can go through the same tools that, we're on, that we showed on the mini amp. And let's say you had a bigger experiment. You do need all of them. Well, first of all, you could use the mini amp, but if you wanted to use um, the ProFlex, you can put, load your samples into two or three of these sections. And then if you hit the new or open method from this screen, let's say, or there's no method saved here. Let's say we were doing a template, doing ample attack again. When you go to choose, you'll now have an option after you've edited this protocol to choose blocks and you can select either all three or just two of these blocks to run the protocol on and you can start your run. In terms of that Veriflex being um, property, being able to change temperatures independently, this actually has even more zones than the mini amp. Each of these two, where you can see the, the line down the middle, you have one, two, three, four, five, six independent zones, which can all be put to different temperatures in that Veriflex um, setting. Um, so this is a really interesting machine because not only can you just run a single experiment and three separate people could run their own experiments, set up their own runs independently. Um, you can also, if you were just running your own experiment, set up six different temperatures if you were doing a gradient or needed some sort of flexibility to optimize a protocol. Let us know if you need any help. We'd be more than happy to help you with these protocol editing features if you need a little bit of support. Um, these thermocyclers also do have Wi-Fi support in theory where you could check on your runs from remote. Um, because of MSU's networking protocols, we haven't set that up yet, but if that's something you feel like you have a need for, let us know and we can look into that.